Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits. I'm Rich Robin. I'm going to walk you through what I'm going to refer to as an entertainer stretch. And I say stretch because the main chamber is extended a foot from a 60 to a 72, and the upright is extended six inches in width from the main chamber to the front of the trailer, an extra six inches. So it is actually 30 by 24 by 36 tall. And then you have your 24 by 72 double door main chamber. We've got 304 brushed stainless steel front shelf, custom wheels, 3,500 pound tandem axles with electric brakes. We've got Texas box lights. We've got a setup for a Guru device. We've got pro ports or holes for your wired thermometers or your Guru devices. We have a 160K burner or fryer built into the trailer with a cover that folds down we've got your lp or tank holder quick connect regulator hose we've got round bar around the the tongue and mainly to support and hold whatever gear you put over here like an ice chest or a small generator like a honda 2000 whisper quiet generator bulldog coupler safety chain jack wheel uh, we've got dual birdhouse stacks. We've got a flag poles or mounts, rather flag mounts there. We have a nice 24 by 48 two-door grill with four sliding meat racks in it and a birdhouse stack. Stainless steel 304 brushed. Paper towel hanger. Side access door with diamond style slide vents. Inside, your angle frame quarter inch thick fire grate. And a two inch drain or nipple in there for cleaning it out spare tire with a custom mount storage here tell true gator pit gauges trailer frame is two by three rectangle quarter inch thick tubing the upright or vertical smokes box has an access door for cleaning it out there is a fire grate down there if you needed more grill uh, capability. But being that this customer has this big old grill over here, I doubt they're going to ever need to grill over here in their smoker and just leave this as a smoker. All the doors will lock with these quarter inch lynch pins. <coughs> Excuse me. You got a breakaway box, 12 volt, that charges when you hook it up to your vehicle. You have half inch gas pipelines. With half inch brass ball valves there is brass tubing running from the valve to the actual burner let's see steel fenders teardrop and let's just look inside here there we go well now my camera's messing up there we go back to it i don't know what's cutting out on me uh, battery's getting dead i think Anyway, we have a half inch thick square firebox in the back with gas assist. We have a top grill that you see there for grilling foods. And let's see, Texas slide air vents. And now you can see the Texas box covers. It's kind of hard with the shadow or the shade we got here. And we got some tools in there, ash rake and fire poker. And we have a custom sign. Let me get here where you kind of see it. Boyd's box car barbecue there you go very cool great advertisement going down the road great advertisement when you're catering and this will be used for catering beautiful pit let me open it up here for you inside your slotting trays your tuning plates very very nice you can see it pretty stainless there that nice brushed stainless flange doors, all the good stuff that comes with Gator Pit. We have two gauges in each of the doors, including the upright. Those are the tail trues. We've got some three amigos or three cowboys. Artwork on the door you can see there. Beautiful pit. Paper towel hanger and utensil hangers. Beautiful pit, guys. That's Gator Pit, man. Ah, look. This one just rolled out. That wasn't here when I walked out another gator pit rolling out it's the carnivore it's 
single door counterweighted. Kind of a small version of the entertainer I just showed you. 24 by 24 by 36 upright with four sliding meat racks. Two sliding meat racks in the main chamber. 304 brush stainless steel. Our standard white wheels, 3,500 pound axle. Springs for a smooth tow. Your safety chain hangers. Solid plate front deck. Two by two by quarter square tubing trailer frame with uh, quarter inch gussets at the stress points and a half inch thick firebox. You see here with diamond slide vents. Nice little shelf on the side here and a big storage area. Very nice, universal light kit. Birdhouse stacks. This pit, both of these are waiting to be picked up. One of the things you get with a gator pit, some of these guys don't do. And that is, this trailer is already registered with the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. There's your temporary tags, 2018 Gator Pit. These tags are good for 60 days. They expire, in this case, August 26, 2018. And there is a VIN assigned to it here. And it lists us as the seller. So you will not have any issues getting plates for your trailer, no matter what state you're in, because it's already registered with the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. All of our trailers are registered when they go out so that our customers have no problem transferring from Gator Pit into their name. And you get all the paperwork that goes with it, including the Secured Manufacturer's Certificate of Origin, or your MCO, some people refer to it as. Guys, that's Gator Pit. I'm Rich Robin. It's what we do every day, is we make people's dreams a reality. Call me, let me know what I can do for you. Thank you.